Oh, it's Thursday morning. Kind of a dreary looking day out today, but that's okay with God. Every day is a good day. Hey, I just was thinking this morning as I was reading out of James chapter three about how do I know whether I'm getting good advice or not? I mean, we seek advice in life from many sources. Uh, sometimes uh, the advice is hard to take. Sometimes it's exactly what we want to hear, but how do we know if it's good advice? How do we know if it's wise? And James 3.17 has kind of a, an outline of what wisdom really looks like, at least godly wisdom. It says, but the wisdom from above, first of all, is pure. It's also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It's full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. I thought, well, there I go. I can look right there. I can take the advice that people give me and measure it against what the Bible says is wisdom that comes from above. So if they suggest something that is contrary to the wisdom from above, it's easy for me then to say, I'm probably not going to listen to that. If it's consistent with it, then I probably will. Like, you know, some people will say, well, you know, if they've hurt you, you've got to, you know, punish them in some way so that they feel the pain that they've caused you. And that wouldn't make sense because this tells me that wisdom from above, first of all, is full of mercy. And when someone hurts us, our response isn't to get even, to get back at, to make them pay for something in some way, is to demonstrate mercy like God showed us when he didn't give us what we deserved. And so we can go to this verse of scripture and we can check out the advice that we're given and say, is this consistent? Is it pure? Is it peace loving? Is it gentle? Is, does it really yield to others? Is it full of mercy? Is, is it full of good deeds? Does it show any favoritism? Most of all, am I sincere in it? So I'd hope that maybe when you have to make your next decision and you seek advice and you're not 100% sure whether that advice is something you ought to take, go to James chapter three, verse 17, and let it help you figure out whether or not you should heed that person's advice, or maybe you need to seek godly advice from another direction. God bless you, have a great day, talk to you tomorrow.